infinite cast spells. They exist and they're very impactful. Normally that's through a warlock feature called Eldritch Invocation. Now with Tashes, we can get it through a feat. So that means getting access to them is a lot easier now. Welcome to Pack Tactics where everyone has advantage. Eldritch Adept. It has a prerequisite though. You need spellcasting or packed magic feature to pick this up. You learn one Eldritch Invocation option of your choice from the Warlock class. If the invocation has a prerequisite of any kind, you can choose that invocation only if you're a Warlock who meets that prerequisite. Whenever you gain a level, you can replace the invocation with another one from the Warlock class. The last sentence is very generous. You should keep that in mind as you progress in level. If something doesn't work out, then replace the invocation. Another thing to note is the spellcasting ability you use for this feature isn't written anywhere. At the time of this video, there's no information about it, but it's safe to assume it's Charisma Modifier. Rules as written, DC is 8 plus proficiency bonus plus 0, and that can't be right. That sounds like an error from Wizard of the Coast. I will just assume it's Charisma Modifier anyways, and even if your Charisma Modifier is low, I still think this is effective enough to grab, potentially. Why would you want this? Why do I think this feat is worth considering? Infinite use and being able to replace the invocation every level should be a given. For an optimized perspective, this can easily enhance your utility, and especially roleplay. Some of these invocations will just naturally make you an interesting character. If you want to be a meme character, for example, you know exactly what to pick. Misty Visions. As you talk and joke with your friends, you can just spam silent image in between sentences. A good example on how you do that is Robin Williams' Genie. Just look it up and be inspired. Pull that off at a table and everyone will have fun. We're going to look at the surface of this feat, so I'll just assume you don't have any levels in Warlock. What is valuable to grab then? Beast Speech. This is like a spell but permanent, especially for tier 1 play. This is incredibly underrated. People argue it's DM dependent, and they're right, but don't let that turn you off. If you really want to talk and befriend animals, the DM will let you. If you go out of your way to go to the forest to interact with animals, it will happen. Even in big cities, you can talk to pigeons. If you befriend them with tons of bread, they can be your eyes and ears around the whole city itself potentially. That's optimal. You can even talk to the wolf encounter. If you flap your gums right, they'll bugger off. This is fun overall for everyone, and of course, when this stops being effective, then you can just replace it next level. Devil's Sight. This deserves its own video with darkness. I've heard a story from Ronan, I believe. This was a year ago, by the way, so I don't remember the full details. Anyways, his whole party picked up Devil's Sight and broke the game. Eventually, they got bored with it, so they decided to change invocations. Your defenses are strong and you attack with advantage all the time with darkness. The enemies attack with disadvantage and sight spells become a serious problem for them. This is an incredibly strong invocation. Eldritch Sights detect magic at will. If you're a paranoid player, then this is a must-have. Good for dungeon crawling, good for detecting invisible things, good for detecting magical disguises, good for detecting magical items. From experience, the more you know about spells, the more you will fear enemy spell casters. If you detect a potential threat early, that's a win, and you can act accordingly. Also keep reminding the DM you have this active at all times. I actually advise you be annoying with this, just to make sure you're safe. That's actually a very Call of Cthulhu player approach. Better be cautious about everything. Mask of Many Faces, this is a big deal. You can be anyone at all times. 
you're the spy from Team Fortress 2, basically. To use this optimally, you change the disguise every 10 minutes or so, and that includes different sex and what have you. Lots of roleplay potential, a lot of clever things you can do with this. Misty Visions. This is the best option in my opinion. I would cast this non-stop, even in conversations. You turn the game pretty much into a cartoon. You can be like the Animaniacs, and that should be insane amount of fun for those who like to meme. I talked about that before. If you're really clever with illusions, then this can be the best feat in the game for you. This deserves its own video with silent image, for it's too complex to cover here. To be honest, I don't even know if I'm equipped to even cover it properly, but I can give you an idea that I think will set the stage at least a little bit. Silent image, concentration, action, 60 foot range, 10 minutes, that's a hundred rounds. You can create the image of an object, a creature, or some other thing that is no larger than a 15 foot cube. I won't go over too much of it, but as an action you can do movements and make it look natural. Keep in mind you're concentrating on a spell, but this doesn't stop you from using Minor Illusion. Well, when you're animating Silent Image you can't, but sometimes you don't need to animate it to sell the illusion. That's right, you can combo with this. So you can put up an image, and then through Minor Illusion give off sounds. Now, we need to think like Kobolds. What would Tucker's Kobolds do if they had this? What I would do is present something threatening. A 15 foot cube is big, so I can make an image of a giant ape. Depending on how friendly the DM is with illusions, I can make the giant ape beat its chest. Your team members are bound to have minor illusions, so they can make the giant ape produce sounds for you. This sells the illusion through teamwork. Now, just imagine, because this is a feat now, anyone can grab this for at-will cast. Imagine the whole team casting giant ape illusions to scare enemies. You win, and it's fun for everyone, including the dungeon master. If you're playing an illusionist wizard, this is pretty much a mandatory pick. It's a given, but let me remind you, viewer, if you ever hit level 14, you break the game with illusory reality. Illusory... whatever this is called, I can't pronounce it. You can basically make Wall of Force without spending any resources by making adamantian cages around the enemies. You don't even need to concentrate on the spell when it's real. You just automatically win. Eldritch Mind, a new invocation, basically a bullet point for Warcaster feats. Advantage to concentration saves. It's incredibly important for casters. Worst case scenario, if none of the invocation work out for you, for whatever reason, and you regret even picking this feat, this will hopefully be your saving grace. If you have to pick up Warcaster anyways, well, snap. Now, we're at the end of the video again. I thank you so much for watching. Subscribe. Bye-bye!